Hi everyone, welcome to CICASA's Public Policy Podcast. As some of you may remember, these are just short little videos that we like to record throughout the legislative session just to make sure that survivors and service providers in our state are aware of what's happening at the Capitol in terms of legislation that affects all of us and affects our work. Um, this is also a way for us to really engage with you all about how you can be involved with efforts that are happening at the legislative level um, to both support survivors as well as to help in your work as service providers providers. So thanks for tuning in. We'll be doing these podcasts about once a week throughout the legislative session, and we hope that they're informative, but that they also really encourage you all to get involved because we need all the help we can get a lot of times. So a couple bills that CICASA is really excited to be working on. Um, the first one is the creation of a sexual assault victim emergency program. As many of you know, there are often medical costs that are incurred when a victim goes to receive a medical forensic exam following a sexual assault. And for victims who are not yet um, working with law enforcement or the criminal justice system, those medical costs are the responsibility of the patient or the victim. Um, we don't ever want there to be a situation in our state where the costs are prohibitive from victims seeking services or medical care. So we are working with Representative Kagan and Senator Aguilar to create a sexual assault victim emergency program. We are going to need your help passing this. We're looking for service providers who want to meet with their legis meet with their legislator, um, survivors who want to have meetings, and are also folks who want to testify on the importance of this bill. We're also working with the Colorado Coalition Against Domestic Violence, um, looking at our civil protection order statute here in Colorado, and really creating language to clarify and ensure that civil protection orders are accessible for sexual assault victims in particular. Um, that's a remedy that we know that. Can can be extremely helpful in terms of, of safety planning and we just want to really strengthen that language to make sure that sexual assault victims can access that civil legal remedy. So as I mentioned throughout the session, we'll be providing much more detailed updates, but this is just a short snap, snapshot of what we're working on. Really to get updates on what we're doing and to learn more about how you can be involved, we definitely recommend visiting our website. It's www.ccasa.org. We'll also keep our social media sites, Facebook and Twitter, updated with um, action alerts and, and really give folks um, some up-to-date information about what's happening in terms of these two bills and other bills that we're working on at the Capitol. We do have a public policy committee that meets once a month. All CICASA members, whether individual members or agency members, are more than welcome to participate. I staff that committee and would love to be able to um, talk with any of you about it. If you are outside of the Denver metro area, we make sure that that meeting is accessible via conference call, and that's when a lot of our public policy decisions and our agendas are set. So those are a few ways you can be involved, and we're really looking forward um, to your participation in a legislative session um, that we know is going to strengthen our laws to support survivors, hold offenders accountable, and ensure that we have um, the public safety mechanisms in place that we need here in Colorado. So thanks again for all that you're doing, and I appreciate you tuning in every week.